What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video to my Zephyrus G15 review. Now they've put out a few different updates, and we have here, we've done the BIOS update 404, and from what I can tell that fixed some power like charging issues, but I haven't seen any negative impact from it or any like limited options or anything. So if I were you, I'd go ahead and install those BIOS updates as well as some of these other utilities uh, in the My Asus app. Most importantly though, running Windows Update the other day, I got a whole slew of different Realtek audio driver updates, and after that it fixed the freaking popping speaker issue. Check this out. I brought up a track with some bass in here so you can listen to it, but it's totally not popping anymore at all. So I'm pretty excited about that because the speakers, the speakers in the screen are key for gaming if you don't want to have headphones on, you know what I mean? And that was one of the big selling points for me for this uh, system. So I'm really happy they fixed the popping speakers. And again, that was through Windows Update with some Realtek drivers that wasn't through the My Asus app, but I would still do the updates through here, especially the BIOS update. So um, other than that, let's see, the gaming performance has been pretty good. Most of the time when I'm gaming, let me bring this up. I have it in manual right now because I was tweaking it. But most of the time when I'm gaming, I'm running it in the performance mode. And that, you know, it gives good performance, but it keeps the fan noise down. If I play something where I really need the most CPU performance, like if I'm playing Assassin's Creed or something, I'll go ahead and put it in the turbo mode. And then if I'm just messing around and I want to like tweak it for the game I'm playing, then I'll use the manual mode. I really like the manual mode for when I'm playing some older games or less CPU intensive stuff because I can take the slider and pull it all the way down to like 25 watts. And uh, for non CPU intensive games, that's still enough to fully saturate the graphics card. But you know, you have a lot less heat and noise. so. It's good to have it there as an option to play around with because that's the worst when you get a laptop and they don't let you tweak the fan curve or anything and they only give you a couple presets. So even if it's not the easiest method or the one I use the most, I'm really glad it has that option. But this was just a quick follow-up video. I know I've seen a lot of comments online about the audio stuff and the popping speakers. So I just wanted to put this out there and let everybody know that it should be fixed if you do pick one of these up. So. If you like this, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.